on a piece of paper. Yeah. Why, well, his success has truly been one of the feel-good stories in mixed martial arts over the last several years. Charles Oliveira kind of left for dead by people in 2018 then went on to become the best lightweight in the world and still believes he can be that yet again if he can get a win tonight. He's got to win tonight. He's got to get going in the right direction. You lose your championship in the way that he did. You question whether or not Oliveira has the mental makeup to get back going in the right direction. How can you question it, though, when we have seen what he has done prior? This guy is a tremendous striker, unbelievable jiu-jitsu. If you're on the ground with him, you're constantly in danger. He can submit you from any single position. Charles Oliveira is special, man, and it's always fun to be able to call one of his fights. And I'm not sure minute for minute there is a more exciting fighter in mixed martial arts today than Charles Oliveira. And thankfully, the MMA masses get to watch him compete yet again here tonight. momentous occasion yeah. one of the biggest stars in all the sports he transcends sport of mixed martial arts a guy that has a fantastic left hand he's very quick he's a master of, ma of managing distance managing space and the speed and the ability the eyes of conor mcgregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight and of course every time he competes all eyes are on conor mcgregor and yet more often than not doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Connor here tonight. Lightweight scrap. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Bowen Lynch. That is yes. Brazilian Portuguese for good night. And Charles Oliveira is hoping to hear that at night's end against Conor McGregor. What a fascinating lightweight matchup. Conor going to try to keep this fight on the feet where he believes he has a decided advantage. I, I wish I knew Portuguese like huh. you, my brother. But let me tell you one thing, man. This 
striker has come out swinging and he's a very aggressive guy but you got to be careful i would think to not overextend yourself yeah you would think you got to slow down but not this guy this guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet or he can take down his back but ideally for him he wants to be knocking you guys out well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just buying his time or just trying to get some extra reps. But go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But you see... Oh, McGregor's going for an arm here. Oh, looks like he's got that submission locked in. Starting to get deep. Lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in this. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six, four different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Olivera is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Huge block there. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. But right now, this situation is not any scrap so far. All right, so that round is in the books. Olivera's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. Great it fight. landed so perfectly. Great. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early. Oh! Olivera has to be careful. Oh, big left. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot, man. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, somehow, someway he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. McGregor's got the back, going for the rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. That rear naked choke attempt is very tight. He does a great job of getting the arm under the neck, hiding his hand behind the head, and driving pressure full to get the finish. and turn his back down to the mat. Great job and great submission defense. Oh, he got to the spot. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Beautiful transition. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted 
was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now is continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you have got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. McGregor's in half guard now. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Final seconds here, right back, round two. Right back. Oliveira's really bleeding heavily now. You got to think they might bring in the ringside position and take a look at that cut between rounds. Good round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside position. All right, that is the end of round two, and Oliveira's really starting to donate a lot of blood right now. You got to think that is getting into his eye, compromising his vision. Cutman's got his work to do over the next 60 seconds. Well, if you like blood, maybe this is the fight for you because blood has really become a factor, and it's a cut that appears to be right above his eye. That's one of the worst spots for you to get a cut because then the blood starts to come down, and it goes into the eye. It's difficult already to see, but when you got one of the best mixed martial artists in the world targeting it, it becomes impossible. They call that the trickle down. Jason digs into the blood. That shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. What submission is going to be? Oh, I think he's going for an arm triangle. He needs to push the left arm across to secure it with his head. This has got to be the end of the fight. And there he is! Well, everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call his shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the Octagon. All right, now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of the third round. For the winner, by submission, the notorious Hunter McGregor! All right, well, Conor McGregor always tells us, I have submissions, I have chokes, I just don't always have opportunities to use them. Gets a submission win in here tonight. Well, he got the opportunity to show that he possesses all the skills, and he cashed in. What a beautiful performance by McGregor.